Hello and welcome to Aqua Lifestyle. I'm Glenn and today's video is going to cover Hobie's new Pedal and Paddlecraft offerings for 2021. We were lucky enough to visit ICAST, the International Convention of Allied Sport Fishing Trades. It's the largest fishing trade show in the world, held in Orlando, Florida. It's a show where members of the sport fishing industry introduce and show off their latest and greatest products. Hobie had two new pedal paddle craft that they introduced at the show, so let's check them out. On the first day of the show, vendors were able to show off their products in action outside of one of the lakes that surrounded the convention center. In typical Orlando midsummer hot, humid weather, I was able to catch up with a couple of representatives of Hobie to get the lowdown on their new offerings and try out the new craft on the lake. I'm Howie with Hobie Kayaks and we're here at ICAST 2021. Super stoked to be back after a year off of the show and talk to all the passionate anglers out there. But I want to introduce to you today a, a new product for 2021. It's called the iTrek 9. And the theme of this product is that it's lightweight, it's packable. The whole weight's actually 20 pounds. And then with the bag that it comes with and all the, uh, the drive and the seat, the paddle and everything, um, all together, the whole package is 37. You can check it onto an airplane. Uh, you can hike this thing into the back country, country if you wanted. Um, you know, explore, do a little exploring. Um, it's very n maneuverable and nimble on the water, turns on a dime. Uh, the heart of this thing is our Mirage Drive propulsion system. So this actually comes with standard length fins, kick up fins actually. So you're totally protected against any obstacles that you hit, um, you know, under the water that you might not see or be aware of. And simple back and forth pedal stroke propels you through the water. Uh, you can add turbo length fins for a little more resistance or a little more torque on the fins. You can also uh, put a 180 in the Mirage Drive well, so it's totally universal, the well. And this just drops in and clicks into our click and go system. So forward on these is all the way locked, pulled back toward the user is unlocked and you just lift straight out to remove the drive. The <clears throat> dual drop stick, it's a drop stitched construction that allows for a really rigid uh, feel once it's inflated. So that diagonal drop stip, stitch gives it, uh, you know, it almost seems as if it's a rigid platform once it's inflated. It goes up to 10 PSI, so you can get it really, uh, you know, a lot of air pressure in there. Um, and, a, you know, it's a really, really cool, neat feel because you have this inflatable product that's 20 pounds and you unpack it and inflate it with the auto pump that it comes with. And you've got a really fun, nimble platform. Um, it's 40 inches wide, so really nice and wide. You can stand up easily from the seat. It's nice and elevated. You get a nice vantage point. And it's actually a great paddling platform too. So you can cross back and forth between Mir Mirage Drive powered and, and then stand up paddle uh, mode. Um, you've got a little crisscrossed bungee area in the back with some D-rings for adding something like an H-crate or stuffing a dry bag under. <clears throat> Super responsive rudder. and it deploys and stays like that. It's also completely removable. So if you come around to this side, you can see the red pin that releases the rudder. You just simply pull that and lift up, and you can remove the whole steering system for packing, easy packing and transport. Um, got a standing pad, nice comfortable standing pad up here. Uh, nice, nice weight capacity on this. The 275 pounds in the seat, and uh, 350 total. And what's the retail price on? Retail is twenty one ninety nine, and they're available now. And this is new for twenty twenty. New for twenty twenty one. Well, thank you so much for showing us. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for coming and hanging out and checking out the Hobie demo booth. Hobie had another unique craft they were debuting at the show, the Mirage Lynx. Let's check it out. Hey guys, Grant with Hobie here. We're here at ICAST in 2021 introducing the new Hobie Lynx. This is the latest and greatest from Hobie. On an 11 foot platform, 
We're at 61 pounds fully rigged. We're at 45 pounds on just the whole weight. Out of the gate, we're going to have the, the, the Mirage Drive the MD-180. <clears throat> Steering on, can be changed ambidextrous on the left or the right side. What I really like about this boat is because it's so light, it's a lot more responsive. The rudder, and the, the rudder system in the back unpins just like the rudder control and cup holder and stows in the back of the seat there. So getting on and off the water couldn't be any easier. And what are the, uh, the dimensions on it? We're at 11 feet long. I'm not sure on the, I think we're at 34, 36 inches wide on the links. It's really, really nice to have either on, even in shallow water, I've been running it on a relatively shallow and rocky river, just not having any kind of issues with the drive, being a little bit easier with it, uh, but a much shallower draft too, with uh, just being a lighter boat. Um, you can turn on a dime too. Uh, it's quickly becoming my favorite boat. One of the advantages with your drive systems in shallow water is you can get those fins up and feather them. Exactly. Right? So to flutter kick or feather kick the drive, we can put one foot forward and we're really just kind of bouncing that foot in place to get those fins on the bottom of the hull to where we're having minimal draft through the water. And to remove the drive if we wanted to uh, push your paddle in a little bit shallower water or drag a clock across a sandbar, it's that easy to remove, to insert it back in the drive. We're just going to drop it down. Just drop it in. And they have a, a kickback design too if they, they were to do. impact something. So for 2021, all of our uh, Mirage drives are going to come with kick-up fins. The natural resistance of the water is going to reset those fins in the water. So if we do hit an obstruction in, or when we're in the boat on the water, once we're clear of that obstruction and continuing that pedal kick, we'll re-engage those fins. Fantastic. What a great design. So the 360 is going to be particular to the thro to the Pro Angler. This is going to be the 180 drive. The 180. Okay. So instead of being able to pivot that that drive 360 degrees continuously like we do with the 360 drive, the 180 drive is going to give us that forward and reverse feature. Now, what would be the advantage of one of those over the other, the 360, just being able to turn it? You can you can steer with it, basically? Right. So the 360 is going to be used and going to be really, really popular for people that are trying to nose in and around timber or docks or be more precise with their drive, whether they're vertically jigging or flipping under docks, that kind of thing. Or if we're just in tighter places where we're not able to make a full turn with the boat, um, that 360 drive on the Pro Angler allows us to kind of give us that zero turn feel. Got it. Got it. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. So there you have it, the Hobie Mirage Lynx. Here it is decked out in all its glory, including PowerPole's Micro Spike and running a Lowrance Fish Finder chart plotter. If you want to find out more about these innovative craft, you can hit the link below to get info direct from the Hobie website. So those were just two of the latest pedal and paddle craft on view at iCast. If you liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when more coverage is up and available. Thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon.